Yo, what is up, everybody? Jumping here, and I am back with my Soul Level 1 challenge run for Dark Souls 3. Well, alrighty, it is time to definitely go and finish the Grand Archives. This place is taking me a lot of time because there's a lot to do here, but the main thing is that every fucking enemy here is OP as fuck for me. And this is probably gonna be the worst thing of all, is actually trying to fight these three winged knights. I definitely want to kill them because I can get a slab for doing this. And that is something that I totally need. Also, I can go and get this final shard real quick. So this is another thing I want here. And the other thing as well that I want in this area, there's so much here, is the hunter's ring. I've been trying to get that because then I can use some different weapons. Okay, so they're going to aggro here soon, and I know how to do this so that I can actually fight one at a time, but it's still a fucking bitch, man. Okay, you guys going to drop down or not? I mean, this is kind of ridiculous. Come on, guys. There you go. And where's the one right here? Hello, friend. Yeah, what up? Okay, I got to kill this one quick. I mean, that's kind of important, and I got to be careful that he doesn't fucking one shot me because he probably has a couple moves that canned okay oh i didn't get the backstab what come on stagger him or something ah, come on i missed okay gotta be careful with that move well actually with a lot of his moves especially spinning to win you fuck face Give me my shit back. Alright, I definitely want to get this backstab on this guy when he drops down. And I just have to do, like, enough damage on him to just fuck him up. Really, getting more backstabs would be a good, good idea. Fucking spin to win bullshit. There we go. Okay, I should probably heal. Whatever, fuck it, dude. Ugh. Oh, no, dude, that's gonna kill me. Okay, did I get lucky? I'm not sure. It's fucking hard to say. I can't see him now. Oh, here he comes. Fuck off, bro. Come here, come here. Give me your back. No. No. No, that tracking doe. Die. Okay, that's one down. But the big issue here is killing all fucking three of them without fucking getting killed. That's a fucking pain in my ass. That move might fucking murder me. <gasps> I didn't fucking backstab you. Naha, naha. Wow, he's being kind of dumb, this one right here. Well, whatever. Okay, let's charge it up. Rah. Uh, don't spin to win on me, bitch. Heal it up. And I just gotta get, like, behind him. You know, if I can do that, I'll be good. There we go. This is working out kind of well right now. Free hit. Rah! Ah, fucking asshole. Honestly, I should have tried to get a backstab right there, maybe. Probably could have done it. Okay, I can't see, but whatever. No, 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 no. Urgh. Fucking asshole, stop. Oh, fuck! Two down. Fucking thank God. If the third one was to kill me, I'm going to fucking smack myself in the head. I, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm going to flip the fuck out because this is really going to get on my nerves if this fucker kills me. Can I get a free backstab maybe? Walk slowly behind him. Hello, bitch. No, nah, nah. All right. One backstab. Out of the way, brah. Yeah, what up? Rolling backstab is the best. Oh, uh, that tracking doe. Okay, come on. Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> I am the backstab king against this guy. Alrighty. And that's that, bitch. Give me my free slab. And that's good, because now I can use that to upgrade another weapon. Because I am about to go get me the hunter's ring. I'm like 95% sure it's up here. But then again, I could be wrong. But I'm pretty confident. Okay, let me just run around real quick. I don't think there's anything over here. In fact, that one like little opening right there, totally useless. And it's kind of one of those deals where you scratch your head like, why would they make an opening if it's nothing in there and there's no fake wall or, or nothing? Like, what the fuck were they doing? Hunter's ring, baby, let go. All right, now I also need to drop down onto this like cage part where this angel lady is fucking there. I don't know, it's like the daughter of uh, Guinevere or whatever. I don't really give a fuck about the lore, but that is, I believe, what's up. And they used her to, like, fucking uh, try to genetically alter the princess and all types of wild shit for, you know, purposes of making them Lords of Cinder. 
Blah, 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 blah. And you can tell she was an angel because there's fucking feathers everywhere. And that's where you get that spell. Let's drop down. There is an item up here, but it is like an upgrade gem, I believe. And I don't know what else is over here. Actually, you know what? There is some stuff. There is a couple chests that I can get. So, I mean, be sure not to die and hop down. Okay. Don't think there's anything up on this part right here oh god thank god that missed come here fucking die asshole fuck you oh my god you almost pushed me now i can go on down you know what i just realized i do actually have an additional slab that i got in this area and i'm about to get another one so it's whatever you know having the slabs is always nice and this is going to take me over here where does this lead me oh yeah back to the rooftop area fuck that all right i'm just gonna homeward boner and i will see you guys in a moment Alrighty, it is time for the death run fuck this shit i am not messing with any of these guys especially the guys up top they are the fucking worst i mean to actually sit there and kill them that's a fucking nightmare, man. Uh-uh, I ain't doing it. So I'm just gonna run for my fucking life. Fuck you, dude. Oh, my God. They hit so fucking hard. Oh, God! Okay. Fuck. Should've just kept running, bro. Oh, my God. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. This is bad. They got crossbows, too. I gotta heal because I'm fucking worried. I wanna get my shit back out of my way. Gotta get my stamina as well. Fuck you. Okay, give me my shit back. Thank you. Fuck off. Getting hit by one of these, like, ultra great swords will probably one shot me. But it's time to come down this way. Alright, so now I got this shortcut, which is fucking godly because it's so much better to get past those douchebags when you go up this way. And I foresee that I'm going to be using this elevator about a hundred fucking times. So, yeah, that's going to be fucking fun. You know what I just thought of? Did I ever drop down to get that one item? You know, I don't think I did, actually. It's like over here. Okay, I think I'll go get that real quick, just so that I know that I got everything. I did come in here and I got some of the items. But let me go ahead and rest at the Dragon Slayer armor area, and then I will go and get the slab and also drop down and then I'll homeward boner or something because I, I am not running all the way back around but I do want to rest here so that I, I don't actually have to teleport here that's always kind of annoying unfortunately you know the bonfire is over here I really wish they would have fucking put the bonfire closer to where you fought the dragon slayer armor like over here because literally like not even maybe 30 feet from that bonfire is the Grand Archives bonfire. So what the fuck is the point? Oh, look at that item I never got. How the hell did I miss that? Whatever. It's probably nothing, so I don't really care all that much. I can easily go get it, though. Fuck it. I'll go get it. Because all I gotta do, I guess, is just climb the ladder to get over there. But like I was saying, um... You know, it's really dumb how there's two bonfires like that. It just doesn't really make much sense. And it's a little bit annoying only because, like, you have to run just that little extra distance for fighting the princess. And the princes are fucking assholes, man. They really, really are. I swear to God, I think I grabbed that. But whatever. I don't fucking remember. Hop down here. And let's come over this way. And basically, I'm going to send this elevator back up now. Then I'm going to drop down and get that other item because this one's whatever. I can just simply take that elevator back up. Okay, let's go get this stupid fucking thing right here. Alright, um, just hop on down. Oh god, I'm taking so much damage. What else is over here? You know, I don't think I've ever really explored this place too much. Nothing. Alright, so... It's probably just this item, and I believe this is just like a blessed gem or something stupid like that. And these guys are like straight up praying to it? Okay, no, it's a chime. God, that's fucking weird. Look at the texture down there. I think that's fucked up, dude. That that cannot look like that. Alrighty, guys. Well, I'm gonna go back, and then I'll go get the slab and start fighting the princess. Yee, yeah, buddy. Alrighty, well, let me run all the way back over there so i can go get this freaking slab 
Then I'll take the elevator back up and start fighting the fucking stupid ass princes that are gonna piss me off. Oh my god. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of attacks that will one-shot me. And I've seen some people talking about how maybe I should just take my armor off because basically I'm getting one-shot by a lot of different enemies and stuff. And yeah, that, of course, that is true. Like, taking the armor off would potentially be kind of a good thing because I could put the flint's ring on for more damage. But believe it or not, like, there are a lot of attacks that I survive. Where if I had no armor on, I would not survive, like, any attacks at this point in the game. And that's what I'm worried about. Like, I don't want to, like, do really well in a fight against a boss or something. And then basically I get, like, nicked by something. And it's just enough to kill me because I have no armor on. Compared to, like, if I had the armor on, I would have survived it. So, I don't know. It's just one of those situations where it's like... Do I do it or do I not do it? I don't freaking know, and it sucks, bro, but whatever. Okay, go ahead and let that come down, then take it back up, and it's time to start fighting these bastards, man. The worst thing about this fight, honestly, is the uh, Elder Prince, or is it the Younger Prince? See, I think, I think Lodric is the Elder Prince, but anyway, that motherfucker, he's a pain in my ass man he has a lot of attacks that are just super annoying because he teleports and shit so it's just going to be one of those situations where i have to get good learn how to dodge basically everything he throws at me and then pray to god that once i get to the second part of the fight it's not going to be like insane because the second part of the fight is probably going to be fucking insane at least for that part of the fight killing the elder prince is actually pretty easy and that's really the best way to kill the younger prince is to go ahead and just keep killing the elder prince. But I don't know, man. I may feel like I'm going to get one-shotted a lot and it's going to make me rage a lot. So let's start this madness. And here we go. Okay, gotta not get fucking murdered right away. See, that's what I'm afraid of. Like, literally, if I had no armor on, that would've killed me. Oh, and I'm already dead. <laughs> wow. Insane. Alrighty, well, at least I don't have to deal with the fucking initial stupid-ass cutscene. Oh, God, but that's still really bad, because that dude always comes right after you right away, man. Ah. Gonna already have to heal. Okay, please don't come at me right away, bro. Thank you for missing. That was awesome. Oh, got gonna get hit probably. Don't do the big attack, bro. That would be terrible. Oh, that's a bad attack right there. Okay, I'm doing good damage. I'm digging that. Not bad. Ah. Okay, fuck. I have to watch out for that fucking two-piece, man. That's gonna fucking suck. Oh my god, whoa, 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 chill the fuck out, bro. Now I have to hurry up and heal and not get hit. Oh god, he went for a two-piece. Where are you? God damn it. What the fuck, man, really? Alright, well, I'm gonna actually try to one-hand against his ass. Oh my god, dude, that first fucking attack is a fucking nightmare. It really is. I hate his teleporting shit, dude. Uh, I'm gonna die. Okay, I got lucky, I guess. He's gonna teleport now, though. Come on. Uh, out of my fucking way. Oh, my God. I'm getting hit fucking so much. It's ridiculous. Teleport? Nope, just stab me in the face. Oh, my God. This is so fucking bad. Okay. Good so far. Well, not really, but at least I didn't get murdered right away this time. All right, bitch. What up? Okay, let's go. Ah, oh, fucking shit. Wait, what are you doing, dude? What are you, the fuck are you doing? Okay. That's a move I don't normally see, but whatever. I can uh, deal with that, bitch. See, I never know when he's gonna swing more than fucking once. Sometimes he does, and sometimes he don't. I mean, look at him right now. Fucking asshole. I'm gonna heal next to you, bitch. I don't care. Yeah, there we go. Fucking do a little damage. Dodge. Do a little damage. Okay, I'm kind of getting the hang of this a little bit. Oh, God. Got lucky a little bit right there. Bitch, what up? No. If I can keep him like this, this is great. Why did I dodge twice? That was stupid of me. Oh, fuck. Where is he? Oh, fuck. I don't see him. Oh, God damn it, dude. Really? I 
couldn't see him! You know what's really funny about this game? And this is kind of interesting because Dark Souls 2 had something like this. Basically, oh god, fuck me. Okay, I really can't talk about random shit. I have to stay focused. I gotta be honest here. Okay, bitch, what up? Bro, oh, god, you hurt, bro. You gonna do something else? I should have healed right away. Ah. Okay, let's get close. Getting close seems to be better. Alright, one, two. What I was gonna talk about, though, at least attempt to talk about, which every time I'm bringing it up, I'm getting fucking murdered! Like, ah! I need to be careful. Come on. Every boss, at least all the late, like, hard bosses in this game, the only real reason why they're hard, I think, well, I think they're just hard a little bit more than Dark Souls 2. Where is he? Come on, shoot it! There we go. See, that's how you dodge that. You just have to time that particular one. But in this game, they all have, like, multiple stages, you know? And that's what makes them hard. Like, this guy will come back, you know? And then you have to fight the brother and him. And that's, uh, you know, whatever. But it's honestly just a little bit artificially hard. Because if you just have to fight him, this wouldn't be all that bad, you know? But you have to fight him, then you have to fight the brother. And he keeps coming back to life and all this fucking shit. Ah, oh, god damn it. Ah, <sighs> fuck. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna go ahead and try this one more time, and then after that, I'm gonna pretty much just give up for this episode, and then dedicate the next episode to trying to beat the princes. Anyway, I wanted to actually just talk about this, because I know that if I try to talk about this in the middle of the fight, it's just gonna throw me off. I really have to just try to focus on the fight, and not about some random point. But my point I was trying to make earlier is that, in this game, a lot of the in-game bosses that are really hard... They have like multiple forms like the princess or the nameless king where you have to fight the dragon then you have to fight the nameless king it just makes it like harder than it should be where like in dark souls 2 what they did was they just had like um multiple bosses so that you had to fight two bosses and at once and that was really cheap as well and it wasn't that like the boss was hard, it was just like a little bit cheap because there was two of them. Or it's one boss with a bunch of enemies or something like that. Now in the DLC for Dark Souls 2, they actually added some really awesome bosses that were one-on-one -on -one fights like Sora Lawn and the Fume Knight. Those were great, but for the most part in the vanilla game, all of like the hardest bosses honestly weren't really hard. In fact, most of the bosses in that game I thought were super fucking easy. It's just when there was more than one boss or there was multiple enemies included into that, it just made it a fucking nightmare for real. Okay. Seems like this is working really well right now. Okay, I got hit though. Not good. See, that's the worst. Now I have to back up and hope he doesn't, like, just murder my ass. Ah, don't hit me with that shit, brah. Ooh, I knocked you down. Oh, I can fucking... Yeah, nice! Holy shit! Was not expecting that. Let's try to get some more damage on him. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Oh my god, that could have killed me. Ah, oh, fuck, dude! Son of a bitch! That stupid move! Alrighty, well, I have to say, I'm feeling a little bit confident, at least in, like, Log Trick, the Elder Prince, because I'm doing okay against them, and I'll get better as I go, because that's really what it's all about, is just getting that practice in to really learn how to dodge most of the moves. And then, of course, once the second form comes in, that's where everything will change, and it's gonna really fucking suck, and then I'll have to get used to that as well as getting used to that first part. Just like in The Dancer, for example, where I literally got to the point where, like, the dancer's first stage of the fight was, like, super easy. But once that motherfucker buffed, it was like, oh my god, this is ridiculous, until I kind of got used to it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this episode here, so I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe, and I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day, and peace!